Let's do some top dead trade now with Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Ellen Neckman, the chief market strategist of BullseyeOption.com. Here we go, guys. Round number one. Pause play. The Fed says it needs time to determine its next move. How do you play the Fed? I am always tired of talk. Talk Talk was a great band back in the 80s, but I'm so tired. People need to listen and hear what the Fed has been saying. The market's gone straight up in 2023. They have this under control. And so it looks like there's, you know, there's going to be no more rate hikes. And actually, there's a near 100 percent, and I never say 100 percent, 100 percent chance, according to the markets, that there's going to be a cut by December. The Federal Reserve has everything under control. I mean, let, I mean, look at look at how well they've done. We haven't had a bank failure for ten minutes. I mean, this is great. I mean, they have got it under control. You know, the problem is bad I don't know if the market is bad, convinced that they have it under banks. control, right? And 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 this is the thing. Right. I mean, the Federal Reserve has a very difficult job right now. Right. Uh, they have to fight inflation, but they have to be concerned about the potential contagion effect from these small banks. Now, a lot of people say, ah, they're small banks, you know, but at the same time, they said back in 2008, it's only subprime. Don't worry about it. I, I, I am not overly worried about it but it is going to create volatility in the marketplace. Round number two, Golden Google. A few weeks ago, the Google search of how to buy gold was huge on the internet. What would you do, buy gold or Google? I think you gotta go with the gold. Go for the gold, go for the gold. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons. First <laughs> of all, one of the things that we've been talking about for a long period of time, you know, is that gold looks undervalued. You know, we've seen some weakness in the dollar. We're seeing turmoil in financial markets, uh, and we're seeing inflation, and all those things put together have really created a run in gold. We saw gold really break out. It's established itself with a breakout above 2,000. It looks like we're going to hit to 21, and the longer-term charts look very, very bullish. All right, Google's got a great chart. I love it. 100's been a super a base now. We've been trading between 100 and 110. That target's 120, and that's the top end of the range for the year, and I like the way it's set up. But I'm going to go back to gold. We talked about 2,500 gold as a target based upon the price pattern, and it looks like we're on our way here. But Newmont Mining is a stock that's been between 40 and 60. It's 40% off its 2022 top. So the mining stock has not kept pace with the metal itself just yet. Round number three, S&P twist. Stocks measured by the S&P are at a 2023 top. Tell me what you think about this S&P twist strategy with an S&P stock fund RSP. Right. Everybody follows the S&P, but the weird thing that's happened here this year is that 10% of the stocks uh, account for 90% of the gain because it's a market capitalization index. So to be a little nerdy here, if you look at it as a equal rate weight index, it's actually beat the S&P over the last 15 and 20 years. So that would diversify. Now, it, diversification is usually a better, a better plan in the long run. In the short term, the S&P is winning, but in the long run, the equal weight S&P index is the big winner. I, I agree it could be time to change from the weighted index, which has outperformed dramatically over the last couple of years and go into a weighted index. Let's take it to the bonus round question for today. Are the following Derby tickers true or are they false? Churchill Downs, CHDN, Pony, PNY, and Race. True. They're all true. Now, I don't gamble. Uh, I do like to watch the horses and there are probability plays here that I think are much better. All are true. You are both winners by a nose. Mint juleps are on the house. Great job, Business First Day, and we'll be right back with the final trade of the day.